Berliner Pilsner. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Bose Reviews. I've got a can of Berliner Pilsner here. Now, this was um, stuck at the very bottom of a fridge in a local German bar that is round the corner from where I work. And um, I'm sure I've tried this before, ages ago. And um, I was just browsing there today, picked up a couple of bottles and I saw this and I thought, I don't think I've done a review of this, so I'm going to give it a go today. Um, what is it? Well, it is a Pilsner from a company that is, or a, a brewing company that is based in Berlin. And they go back to 1908, I think it is. Well, it's the early turn of the 20th century anyway. And um, they were brewing beer and they during the, after the Second World War, when the um, uh, city of Berlin was split into two between east and west, this was based on the eastern side and it was taken over by the state and they would be brewing beer there right up until the unification in uh, 1990. And uh, what happened was they were taken over by a big German beer conglomerate and uh, if you've ever seen them, is it Dr. Ertica Peters? It's basically owned by them. So I haven't really got high hopes for it. It's, uh, I imagine it's it's uh, quite a sort of a macro brewed beer, but you never know, it could be a good one. Um, what is it? Well, it's a, it's a Pilsner, it's got a bear on the front of the can. That comes from the coat of arms of Berlin, which is a bear. Um, on the back you got some spill, pause your video now if you want to read it. Um, yeah, it's just the usual first 5% 330ml can. Um, pff, there's a lot of stuff here in German that I'm not going to read out. Um, just saying, yeah, um, ingredients, water, barley, malt, hop extract. Hop extract, well, you know, hop extract is always not a good sign. But I could be wrong, the proof is in the tasting, so let's get it open. Now, I just had Flensburger, that's a Pilsner from the north of Germany, and um, of course, Pilsner's from the Czech Republic, so you know it's, it's the Germans imitating a style, but they use very similar hops in their lager. So, that Flensburger Pilsner was excellent, that was a fantastic 9 out of 10 Pilsner. I want to see how this sort of holds up to it. And what are we getting on the nose? Fresh, like earthy hops. A tiny, tiny bit of lemon citrus and not a lot else. So let's get it into the glass and see if we can get anything else out of it. Now, as I say, I shouldn't really be comparing this with Flensburger because Flensburger is an independent brewery. I can immediately see that this is nothing like Flensburger because if you can see the carbonation on that, the size of the bubbles, that's not a good sign. But again, I could be wrong. Let's see. Well, it smells clean and fresh. It's come out of the fridge, so it's chilled. Again, it's very slight, earthy hops, and look at the rate of knots that head is dissipating it. It's a sort of golden straw colour, but the carbonation is just mental on that. There you go for it. Right, let's get it down the hatch. Cheers. Mmm. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I 
And this is the difference. I always find this with German lagers and pilsners, and basically bottom fermented German beer. The malt is very light on it, and it's a very light and refreshing taste and clean. Um, I know these are adjectives that you're probably not going to immediately conjure up images, but when you get <clears throat> when you get beer that's been brewed over here or brewed in big batches by macro brewers, you get it's like a sort of a clingy feel, and not in a good way. And you get um, like it, w what tastes like poor quality hops. Now, I know they brew quite a lot. They're, they're a big brewery in this company. They brew all sorts of beers and, you know, they own all sorts of food producing companies. So, you know, I wouldn't have thought brewing was sort of high on their list. But I have to say, this isn't bad. Mm. It's a lovely light, lemony, hoppy flavour to it. I wouldn't call it a pilsner. It doesn't immediately strike me as a pilsner. It hasn't got that big earthy sars hops that you get with the Czech pilsners and, and with the Flensburger as well. This is lighter. It reminds me more of a lager. But on its own merits, it is not a bad drink. Mm. Carbonation's calmed down there a bit as well. So it's quite, in fact, it's very easy drinking. I quite like it. I mean, there's nothing, nothing ringing alarm bells with me at all. And, you know, they're, they're an old brewery. I mean, the, the thing that was ringing the alarm bells was because it was owned by that Dr. Ertica, who own, like I say, they own the pizza people and they manufacture all sorts of foodstuffs. But this has got World Beer Awards Germany. This won a gold medal. Um, it doesn't say what year. But if you sort of won a gold medal for this, I can probably see why. It's a good it's a good example of a of a clean drinking um flavoursome German lager, very light. You know, they've got that light touch to them, them German lagers, and this has got it as well. For me, Augustina is, you know, that is the, Augustina Hell is the the best lager, I think, in the world. And it's got a very, very light mouthfeel, very clean and refreshing. This is sort of on the way, it's, it's nowhere near as good as that, but that's what it's trying to imitate. Mm, no complaints whatsoever. I think if any British craft brewer brewed something like that, you know, a craft lager, I'd have no complaints whatsoever, and they could be rightly proud of that. Um, what would I give it? I'd give that an eight and a half out of ten. And would I recommend it? Yeah, I would. Keep an eye out for that. If you just want an easy drinking lager, or if you're going out with mates and they don't like the idea of you know, wheat beers or alt beers or German dark beers at all. Get him some of this. If there's no none of the Augustina, Augustina lager, get him some of this, and they'll love it. And that goes down really well. And if they moan about this, you can tell them to fuck off because they've got no taste. And remember, beer is working class champagne.